Hello, this is Jorge, and you are in No Land for Lazy Chefs. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to my kitchen. I'm feeling lazy today, very, very lazy. And uh, no wonder why this channel is called No Land for Lazy Chefs. Okay, No Land for Lazy Chefs, that's the motto. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Yeah, how boring a sandwich, but which, uh, with a little extra uh, something. It's gonna take me two minutes to do something that you can add to a sandwich that will make it completely different. Remember my all-purpose seasoning is something kind of similar, but uh, as I said, if you have it in your fridge, uh, it's gonna last there for a week, at least a week. And uh, if you add that to any kind of sandwich, gonna give it a little extra touch into it. And not just a simple ham and cheese sandwich. By the way, that's what I'm making, a ham and cheese sandwich today. So let's cook it, let's make it, let's do a sandwich. Vámonos. Okay, for the sandwich, obviously we're gonna need some bread, which I have it already open like that and frozen, I'm gonna put it on the toaster while we make the sandwich, some cheese and some ham. But this is the special touch, a couple of tomatoes. Let's see what we do with the tomatoes. In the meantime, I'm gonna put this on the toaster and I'll bring this back as soon as this is done. Okay, let's go. From the measure blender, what we're gonna need is, first of all, let's peel the tomatoes. Well, tomatoes are already peeled. Here they are, all of them. Look at that. Let's process them. The blender and just mash it off. Okay, already done. tomato or tomato puree, however you want to call it. We're going to put it in a jar. Alright, just like that. And this can be in the cooler. That thing that you heard was the toaster. All right, so the bread is toasted. Let's just start making it with the hot bread. But this can last in the fridge for at least seven days, ten days. But I'm pretty sure once you try it, you're gonna use it for absolutely everything. So now let's go and make our sandwich. Let's leave this handy here. We're gonna need it. Oh, wow. Okay. This is our sandwich, our toasted bread, I better say. With a spoon. Well, I just forgot to bring our stars. With a spoon, we just put some tomato spread over it, just like that. Here you go. And in this other piece of bread as well. There you go. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Okay. So, as I said, this in this jar, just put it in the cooler, the fridge, and every time you make a sandwich, just do that. Your toast in the morning, put that on the bread. Um, sandwich anytime, as you see now. There you go. Now, our stars are here. Every time I'm doing a sandwich like this, doesn't matter the kind of cold meat I use, I just like to prepare the um, 
feeling of the sandwich outside of the bread. That way you can get the whole thing in one go. So as you see, like a lasagna, ham, cheese, ham, And here is the filling of this beautiful sandwich, which I am just doing it like this. And guys, I don't know about you, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Mm, look. Look how it looks like when you bite it. This is just beautiful. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna finish my sandwich. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.